So when you have the 2022 Hyundai Tucson N-Line, as well as the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it's only logical you make a car video, right? <laughs> well, in this case, I'm actually doing a cinematic video using the uh, Tucson N-Line as my muse for this. And as you've already seen, this car is a uh, Awesome looking car, honestly. I uh, want to big, give a big shout out to Hyundai for sending the car over and also to Daniel for actually doing some great camera work with this video. Honestly, let's jump in and see how uh, the end line is different. Like you've got some really nice, comfortable seats. These are uh, racing style seats. They're uh, a bit snug when they, they, f they fill your body as you drive, which is, is a great experience. Uh, it's a mixture of fabric uh, with leather and some nice uh, stitching with red across in this vehicle. Leather on, this, on the door handles. You've got this nice leather racing wheels with the end logo there a digital display in front of you that of course you can see your different drive mode changes and all the changes that you want to do there is a touchscreen on the right super responsive supports Apple CarPlay Android Auto and then your shifter also has that N-Line logo on there and that's, let's not forget there is wireless charging built in so you've got a wireless charging pad you've got an area for your keys you've got two USB ports there as well as a 120 watt port Plus, you've got access to a rear camera, heated seats, lots of storage spacing. But what I do also like is how that just goes across the board. You can see the mixture of that fabric to the passenger side with the with the red and black stripes there. You can see the mixture of the leather on the seats across the the, the Tucson logo at the bottom of the end line on the carpets, the racing pedals, everything feels just really nice. We're able to see how unique and you know sporty the the Tucson N-Line looks like. It's got a very different look to it. It's very refined performance oriented look. Plus the 19 inch outer rims are nice. They're lovely looking rims. Uh, you've got the logo on there. So it kind of just gives you like this whole badge. It's nothing too ostentatious. It's, it's solid, I like the way it looks. Now, the one thing that I did like, especially while grocery shopping was the lot of space within the trunk to put the groceries. I had a ton of space out there. I was able to drop my groceries in, but there's also another um, 120 volt uh, port at the back so if you need to charge something or do something say like tailgate this will actually work out well for you but this the car had a lot of space so we finally made it to Kura Sushi this was my first experience going to a uh, revolving sushi restaurant where the you know the sushi dishes are coming across a revolving belt and you can also special order things it's a really cool experience because almost everything's automated you can special order something off the tablet and that comes back down the conveyor belt if you want to or you just wait for the sushi you want to pick up so i kind of like the whole experience in general it was fun driving this car is fun uh, I wish it had more horsepower. Uh, it comes with 187 horsepower, a uh, four cylinder engine, uh, which is okay. I mean, I've driven way less and I just wish it came with a six cylinder variant that I think would be really nice for a lot of people. Uh, but it, it was pretty solid there in terms of mileage listed at 335, as well as, um, you know, how much it costs to fill up a tank. It cost me about $36 filling up from uh, a quarter tag to full. This is not just all about the car. As you guys know, I've been shooting with the S22 Ultra this whole time. Daniel has been, which is why the video has just looked amazing and it's not shaky or anything like that. But I also wanted to see how well it handled low light video, you know, uh, especially with a car like this that has, you know, blue light accents. And, you know, that's something that um, I think it does a decent job plus just capturing the city landscape at night. With the S22 Ultra, we, we wanted to just see how it was just filming something a little bit more specific, but also adding like a whole day's usage to it. I will say though, it's been a fun experience and hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, I love doing car videos I haven't done them in a while and I want to do more, but I want to do a, a different spin to them. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I want to know your thoughts. What did you guys think about two things? One, the Hyundai Tucson N-Line. And two, what do you think about cinematic videos, especially shooting on the S22 Ultra? Leave those thoughts down below. Enjoy guys, and I'll see you in the next video.